Hey YouTube, it's the test lead, and today's video is Regression Testing Simplified. Regression testing is one of the software testing practices done in a software development lifecycle that's tested to make sure that an application changes code and adds code that no previous functionality is broken. This video will cover what is regression testing and why is it so important. First, what is regression testing? As I mentioned previously, regression testing is a software testing process. Whenever any code is changed or added, it can have unexpected consequences. Regression testing ensures the stability of the current functionality and features of an application. Once code has been changed, regression tests should be executed to make sure that the new changes did not break already existing functionality. Regression tests are a list of tests that test the functionality of your application. The purpose of regression testing is to catch any bugs or defects that may have been accidentally introduced to your application. Regression testing can either be tested manually or through automation. If you think your application will have many changes in the future, it may be wise to invest in an automation suite. If you think this will be a one-time application and there will be no changes, then just do manual testing that's better efficiency and time allocation for your resources. Anytime a set of code is actually deployed to the production environment, you can then add new regression tests for the new functionality. That way, anytime something's added after that, it makes sure that that functionality that we pushed previously doesn't get broken. And now finally, why is it so important? Functional testing only accounts for testing the new functionality of your feature or application. So anything that was developed before that, it does not account for. And this may overlook some changes that integrate with old functionality in your application. Regression tests give better overall testing coverage as well as confidence when incorporated properly. Imagine a banking application creating a new feature for withdrawals on an application. They test to make sure that the withdrawal process works as expected and customers are able to withdraw their money. However, they bypass regression testing because they assume it should not have affected any other parts of the application. They then go live with a new feature and then get flooded with customers complaining about no longer having the ability to deposit money anymore. It turns out that the new feature was able to add the withdrawal process, but it broke the deposit process. So now, not only do you have banks with low than expected money because they can't accept deposits, but you also have problems with your customers. The application might also lose customers because they think to themselves, okay, today there's a problem with the deposit process, but if one day in the future there's a problem with the withdrawal process, I can't get my money back. Getting customer loyalty and trust is very important, and once you lose it, it's hard to get back. They then think to themselves, maybe I should switch to a safer bank that never had these problems. All this is because you overlooked doing regression testing. Now the banking company has to invest time and resources into fixing a bug and then also gaining their customers' trust and loyalty back. All of which could have been prevented if they would have just done regression testing. Now let's wrap it up. First, do not overlook regression testing. Anytime any code has been changed, regression testing makes sure nothing is broken. Regression testing helps for better overall testing coverage. And last but not least, if frequent changes will be made to the application, invest in setting up an automation suite. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have suggestions for new videos, also leave that below. And hey, don't forget to learn something new today.